poor film Friday Night Lights, Booby Miles is asked if he's as good as the hype has led people to believe. Miles scoffs at the question and retorts, Nah, hype is something that's not for real, and I'm all real. Of course, Miles goes on to become the tragic figure in both the book and film as he ends up tearing his ACL and never living up to those college dreams. But what Miles says about hype is true, and hype in general can be dangerous. It leads to conflated expectations that almost are always impossible to live up to. And we saw firsthand this week with Jamie Newman how hype can sometimes be incredibly unfair to the athletes that it goes to. For the past couple months, ever really since he transferred to Georgia back in January from Wake Forest, Newman has generated a ton of hype as Georgia's potential starting quarterback. Some have labeled him as a Heisman favorite. Others tapped him as the savior of Georgia's offense. Even some have gone ahead and projected that he could be a possible first-round pick in the 2021 NFL Draft. All of that before even taking a single practice snap at the University of Georgia. Now, some of this hype is with good reason, as he did put up some good numbers last year at Wake Forest, throwing for 26 touchdowns, rushing for 574 yards, and adding six rushing touchdowns as well. Factor in that he's going to be playing with a more talented offense this year and have a well-known offensive coordinator in Todd Munkin getting the most out of his abilities and attributes, including his deep passing ability, something that meshes very well with Munkin's own system, it's easy to see why the hype became what it was. Factor in Georgia's need for a quote-unquote savior on offense, given the struggles it had last year with Jake Fromm at quarterback, and you can see why a lot of people both within the Georgia fan base and the national media at large saw something as Newman bigger than what he was coming into the program, a nice player from Wake Forest. Of course, this week, it seemed like all the hype came out of Jamie Newman's balloon when it was announced that JT Daniels would be granted immediate eligibility for the 2020 season. Like Newman, Daniels is a transfer quarterback, but his story is drastically different than what Newman comes from. Newman comes from, came from a Wake Forest program, was good, but it's certainly not great, and the rise in, in competition was going to make things tougher for Newman, but also give him a bigger platform to shine. Daniels, on the other hand, comes from the usual type of pedigree that the last couple of Georgia quarterbacks have come from. He played at a big-time high school program in Santa Ana, California for modern day, the same program that produced five-star Alabama quarterback Bryce Young, Matt Barkley, and Matt Leiner of USC lore. In addition, when he was supposed to be a senior in high school, he was actually starting for USC. That season didn't go very well as he threw 14 touchdowns compared to 10 interceptions, but the fact that he was doing that as a freshman, winning a quarterback competition at one of the, the biggest football factories in the country, showed about the hype and potential that he had. In, in the 2018 recruiting class rankings, which he reclassified into, the only two quarterbacks who had higher rankings than him were Trevor Lawrence and Justin Fields. You factor all that in, and it's easy to now see why Daniels is getting more hype than Newman, with some even saying that Daniels is going to be the guy that leads UGA this fall. But Daniels isn't the sure thing either. He's coming off a knee injury he suffered in the first game of the season last year against Fresno State, that cost him the entire year. And, while it's worth noting that he does, is an excellent thrower of the football, he's nowhere near the athlete that Newman was even before his injury, and it'll be interesting to wonder how that changes afterwards. As we've seen with guys like Joe Burrow, Trevor Lawrence, and yes, Justin Fields, having mobility as a quarterback is a huge asset to making you the best possible version of yourself. Heck, Lawrence even won the Ohio State game a year ago, not so much because of what he did with his arm, but because he was able to run for 100 yards in a long touchdown against the Buckeyes. With all the hype seemingly gone around Newman and more laser focused now on the quarterback battle between Daniels and Newman, it's interesting to again take a step back and look at why Newman was so hyped up in the first place. Nothing from his perspective has really changed since Daniels gained eligibility. He's still a very great athlete and a guy who has the expectations and potential to do really well in the Georgia offense this year. But because Kirby Smart is willing in to bring in a guy like Daniels to try and boost the quarterback competition, it's left many people wondering, was this guy ever really as good as some said? And naturally you have the people out there that were always trying to push back on the Newman hype that are coming out and saying, hey, look at us, we're right. Newman was never going to be what all those people were setting him up to be. Because the reality was, almost no quarterback could be and follow those expectations that had been set for him. Unfairly, I might add. But Newman still has a chance to be the starting quarterback for Georgia. Yes, he'll have to win a quarterback competition against an equally talented quarterback in Daniels. Not to mention Dwan Mathis, Carson Beck, and Stetson Bennett as well. But all the stuff we've said and been saying about Newman for the most part from a game perspective is true. The things that got out of control were the projections going forward. Right now, Newman is still the very same player that he was when he transferred to Georgia back in January. And if he goes on to make those improvements and wins the Georgia starting quarterback job, 
there is still the opportunity for him to live up to those lofty expectations that had somehow been set and now been reset with the addition of Daniels. Either way, the Georgia quarterback competition battle figures to be very fascinating this year. And this whole situation with Newman, I think, should serve as a lesson in hype setting and expectations going forward. Let's not necessarily put the cart before the horse here and let players play out and show what they can do before lofting high labels on them when they haven't even taken a single practice snap for their school. For Dog Nation, I'm Connor Riley. For more Dog Nation videos, check out youtube.com slash dognation.